My role is um, head of year seven and I've had a new aspect of the role put in last year um, where I'm going to be a permanent head of year seven so each year I will be head of year seven and hand over to a new head of year who will continue them on. And the idea behind that is to try and make sure that that transition process is done by somebody who's been doing it before rather than a new person learning each year. Um, I've got a lot of experience in transition, I've done it several times already and I've also got experience in um, special educational needs as well which made the role a little bit easier for me to um, fall into. Um, why was I picked? The reason that these are the reasons I, when I asked somebody why I was picked. Um, one of the reasons is that I can get to know staff at the primary schools better. Already this last week and a half I've visited quite a few primary schools. I've seen a couple of faces in here that I've seen during the week and it's been really really useful to do that and I know from having met them I'm quite happy, I, I really want to go back in and see them again soon and start doing that earlier on to get the process going. Feedback from students, parents, staff, all the different people involved in transition is much easier if the same person's doing it each time rather than someone else having to learn how to do it. And also with my um, SEN experience, um, I can work with that at an earlier stage and I work very closely with our learning support department in school to make sure that that's done. And as I said up there, um, doing it the same thing each year means I'm not having to teach someone, no one else, someone having to learn it again each time. The process starts on really, really early, and you'll hear more about that later on with the um, identification of the SEN students that we're potentially receiving, and you'll hear about that later. We do a lot of work um, to try and make sure that that happens effectively, meeting the primary SENCOs. Once we know the numbers, we, that's where my job starts. Once we start getting names and numbers of the primary schools, we start looking at where we're going to go and where we're going to fit in the visits. And we try and book them as early as we can. We're going to start booking some of the larger primary schools that are feeder schools for us much earlier, so we get those dates in earlier for next year. So that's something I've, I've fed back to someone already from this year that I'd like to do earlier. The visits themselves um, are very, very important to me. Me going out to visit the students is, gives them a chance to get to know me. They will have me taking care of them for the next year. And my role is to make sure that they come to the school and they feel comfortable with what they've got to do. So those visits are very, very important because it gives them a chance to say what it is they are worried about, what it is they would like to happen, and it gives them the chance to, to say who they would like to be with. Very, very importantly, I go and visit as many schools as I can. Some of the smaller schools I can't always get to. Some of the smaller schools with one or two students I can't always get to because to fit it all in is very difficult. And that's something I, that does annoy me a little bit, but I'd like to be able to get out. But instead of that, we do invite them in. So those students still get the same um, information, they still get the same feedback, but then they get to meet some more students who are also coming on their own, which does help. The, while I'm on those visits, the, the conversations I have with the class teachers have been absolutely amazing this year. Like I've had so much more information than ever before. And I think because we've taken the time to have those conversations, then the feedback from staff about each individual student has been amazing. And I've got a really good picture about the students I've got coming in. I've got an idea of who likes what sports, what activities. And the students have had to say about that as well. But that information I get from the primary teacher, I couldn't do without. Because everything I do from that, involve, it helps put them in the right places so we can actually make sure their transition is, is as best as it can be. My big job starts, well, starts now. I've already started doing this. Sorting into tutor groups, and this year we've got teaching groups as well for me to sort into. So we have seven tutor groups this year, and eight teaching groups I've got to organise them into. And the idea behind the tutor groups is that they are with people that they are going to feel safe with. They are with a tutor that is going to help nurture them, help move them on and look after them. That tutor will be with them for five years. I have them for one year, um, but they will have that tutor for five years. So for me, matching those students with the tutor as best I can is quite important but also matching personalities, making sure you're not putting clashing personalities in. We all know the personalities we might have in our own classes, and that information coming from primary schools is brilliant. Where we know that a student might have a certain trait, putting two of those traits together is difficult. So that information I'm getting from primaries this year has been amazing at making sure I don't put those two together, because putting two, from di two different schools together could be a clash, 
and all that information stops that happening. We've got a nurture group which we set up this, um, this year for current year sevens and that will continue for year seven next year and making sure I get the right students in there and they get that extra support is really important. <coughs> so everything that the primary class teachers give me, I couldn't do without. All that information is, is really important and the more I get, the better. Um, I did have one primary school teacher say to me this week, am I talking too much, am I giving too much? I'm, no. I want lots. The more I have, the better. I want to know them. I want to leave that school thinking I know a bit about the majority of them. And I have started to learn some of their personalities. And the more I know about them, the better we can prepare them for. Um, I've just seen my first choice on our buddies for next year. They are fantastic. We have a buddy system which helps support them on the transition process. And the buddy system is so that the students aren't alone. They come to the school on the transitions days and it's quite nervous for those students. And those buddies can make or break it. You were both buddies, weren't you, gentlemen? Yes. Okay. And they, <laughs> they did very, very well. Um, and, but those buddies are really, really important. So train the buddies and we will do lots and lots of work on that. I'm aware I've just run out of time. So. Um, those buddies are really, really important and good role models. And... I think I have just selected these lot. They're definitely going to be involved in it. Okay. Induction days, we plan it. Fun. Um, time with the tutor group. All sorts of things going on there. Time to get around, uh, move around the school. Time to get to know their tutor and their tutor group. That's really important so they feel comfortable coming in September. Um, it, induction evening happens where parents get a chance to meet the head, the staff, and spend time getting to know people. So that, that's a really, really important part of it. There are things I still feel I could do better and that we could do better and I'd like to do next year work more closely with the year six teachers. I feel I've done a little bit more of that this year, but I still feel there's more to go. There's so much knowledge there with you in the primary, school primary schools that we, we need more of that, okay? I'm starting to gain more information of English, maths and science and the levels, how people are doing. I've been looking at some work, which has been really, really useful to help inform the maths department in, and English department on what sort of things that's happening in the classrooms. And that's <coughs> helped, but I think that needs to be done more. That's where I feel is a place to move forward. Okay, thank you. <laughs>